what's up welcome back to another vlog it's currently monday morning and i'm about to attend my 8 30 a.m chem class virtually because of the coronavirus so i'm sure you guys are going through the same thing right now where your classes are online and i'm trying to just go with the flow and hope that this is temporary i know that they're doing this for a good reason and i definitely do not want to be sick so i'm kind of like taking advantage of it and i made my coffee i'm just sitting on the couch this morning and my professors are doing live lectures at our regular class times on microsoft teams so i'm just about to log on and see how this goes because this is our first class and hopefully it goes okay um I do think it's kind of nice to be just like lounging on my couch and not have to go and get dressed and ready and head to campus so I'm here for it so far. Got my coffee, I'm still in my robe and I just got this notification that they're about to start the lecture so I guess I'll be joining in over here and I'll talk to you guys after. So it's a little bit later, I had my class this morning and it went pretty good um, up until the last like 15 minutes or so and then it completely froze and my professor said he's just gonna like upload a recorded lecture or something because I don't know what happened, he just started lagging and nobody could hear him. Um, but for the most part, it went well. It was pretty nice getting to pretty much go to school from my couch this morning. Not gonna lie, I didn't even have to like get dressed. I was in my robe, so that was awesome. Chad and I are heading to Target right now. Hopefully it's not too crazy. We went to Publix this morning just to get some groceries for the week. And to our surprise, it wasn't too bad. Um, I know that in some other grocery stores like in Florida like they don't have anything and luckily our Publix was not that bad. I mean there were definitely like things missing from the shelves and there was like a sense of eeriness in the store. Yeah, uneasy, un unrest, yeah. uneasiness and everybody. But it wasn't too bad though to be honest. Like when I was um, in Orlando this weekend at the Target there, it was insane. So we're going to Target now because we need to get a couple of things. Um, we have a list and hopefully Oh, we also are going to Costco. Get some gas and a couple of things from Costco. So just hopefully it's not too terrible, but um, I'll let you guys know. We're going into Costco right now and it looks like they have a sign with whatever's out of stock and then they're like cleaning carts as they give them to us. So that's kind of nice, pretty structured. We just found my favorite fig bars. This is a 36 pack for literally like 10 bucks, which is such a good deal because these are my favorite. And then we're also grabbing some wine while we're here. Lots of people with masks on and gloves, so it's eerie. Just got back into the car. Costco was crazy, oh my gosh. And I showed you guys what the line looked like. It was not like that when we were coming in. Okay, we're going into Target now. Wish us luck. Chad said in like a year from now, the whole coronavirus situation is gonna be over and we're still gonna be self-quarantining and everybody's gonna be like, Chad and Melissa, why are you still quarantining? I don't think it's safe. It's not safe out there. We have to stay home with our snacks three years later. <laughs> Keep going. We're looking for some board games just because why not? I mean, we spend most of our time at home anyway, so I don't know why I'm acting like this is, this is all of a sudden something where we need like games because we're gonna be home so much. Like Chad and I never leave the house, so we're probably just gonna do what we normally do, but I thought it was an excuse to get a board game. Oh my gosh, please comment below if you guys remember this game. This was like one of the first computer games I ever played in computer class in fifth grade. It was so fun. Yep, this is real life. One of those big ones. Pike. Made a quick lunch, just a sandwich with some cantaloupe and then these chips. I think I mentioned these in a vlog before, but they are so good. They're jalapeno lime chips by Late July. Amazing, super simple ingredients, not sponsored. <laughs> just love these i'm back in the car and i'm currently in the duncan drive-thru and you guys know if you've been following me for any amount of time that i am a starbucks girl all the way but once in a while i really want a duncan iced coffee because i like their blueberry flavor which is probably really weird because i feel like i'm the only person who drinks the blueberry flavor but it's so good to me 
Okay, so I got an iced coffee. Literally never get Dunkin', and so it's really nice to switch it up once in a while. Don't mind my atrocious looking nails. I'm actually going to get them done right now. That's why I was grabbing an iced coffee. So I am back home now, and excuse what I look like. I have looked like this all day, and I don't even care. I got my nails done. Um, I'm very less than impressed. I went to a different place than I normally go because the place I go to is always packed because it's such a nice nail salon and they just like redid the entire inside so they always have um, like a lot of business in there and I figured it would be busy and I was in a rush to get back so that we could go back to the mechanic and pick up Chad's truck today. But now we're not picking it up till the morning because I took too long to get back. Um, because not only were they slow in there, but I got my nails done and my toes done and Okay, so like from afar, it's like oh, that's not that bad. But when you look close, do you see like that right there on my pointer finger? My toes look good though. Guys, it is way later. I completely forgot to vlog, but Chad and I did an at-home workout. And if you're not following me on Instagram, then you should be because I posted a poll earlier asking you guys what kind of content you want to see because I am going to be still doing vlogs but i'm not going to be really leaving the house as much so i feel like they might get kind of boring so i just wanted to see if there was any like creative other ideas and a lot of you guys were asking me to share my workouts um i'm not like a fitness model so i'm not gonna do like you know like workout videos where i literally like show you but i did post on my instagram a little preview of exactly what workout i did so we did some cross training and this is very similar to what they do in crossfit chad actually came up with this based on something that he's done in one of his crossfit classes so this is what we did whoop, five times and it was brutal such a good workout like i literally sweat so bad because we did it outside and it's like 85 degrees out um, but we avoided the gym so we are social distancing. Then we came inside and took a shower and I threw a little bit of makeup on just because, I don't know, I kind of wanted to. I feel like I looked like crap all day and it made me feel good to put some makeup on, so I did. And I also wanted to show you guys how I'm going to basically create like a um, on the go way to clean my phone because our cell phones right now are the dirtiest thing in the world. So obviously when you're out and about and you don't have access to a sink, you need to be washing your hands. But the other thing that we touch all the time is our phones. So I wanted to come up with a way for us to clean our phones. If you don't have isopropyl alcohol, um, that's a problem. So search your stores for it and try to find it. I have a little bit left that we just had in our counter, but it's not available anywhere. So, um, yeah, it's very, very difficult to find right now, but if you can get your hands on some, or maybe you already have some because this is a common like household product, you can use this to clean your phone or like any other surface that you're not gonna use hand sanitizer for. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna like create this for on the go because when I'm at home, I can wipe my phone down with whatever, but when you're like in your car and you just came in from a store or like, you know, whatever errands or from work or whatever, then you um, wanna be able to clean your phone. So I have this old bottle that had just a little bit left of the brush cleaner that I use. This is um, like a few years old, but it's just like a brush cleaner bottle, but I cleaned it out with water. So that's just like a little bit of water left in there. Um, and I'm going to use this to put some isopropyl alcohol and I have some cotton rounds and I'm gonna put them together. I'll show you guys. <laughs> product I just put it in a little sandwich baggie and I'm gonna keep this in my purse and that way I can wipe down my phone whenever I'm out and about this will be also really good to wipe down like my steering wheel and just like other surfaces that I frequently touch when my hands aren't clean so yeah I'm really glad I came up with this and let me know if you guys decide to try this Chad's cooking dinner right now I should be helping but <laughs> I'm not <laughs> so carrots onion is chopping up a tomato we got some Farfalle. Is that how you say that? Uh, <laughs> I think so. Farfalle? <laughs> what is the ciabatta for? To go with it, I guess. Interesting. I'll show you guys the meal that we're making. It's Italian noodle soup, and I am so, so, so excited. This looks amazing, and we're just having, you know, a little social distancing <laughs> night, self-quarantine. We got some wine over here. Mine's the white, Chad's the red. 
and yeah, really excited. Here is the final product of the Italian noodle soup. I forgot to film it before we ate, so this is the leftovers. It made a massive pot of it, and it was so, so good. from my professor saying that he posted our exam like study guide questions and normally we always take our exam on campus because this is an in-class class and I guess we're gonna obviously have to take it online um, but in the notification it said that he's gonna post details about that tomorrow so kind of wondering how he's gonna prevent people from literally just looking up answers in their book or whatever maybe he'll make it open book or something because how is he gonna avoid that unless he decides to do like the lockdown browser um but he posted the practice questions which is really good because as of right now i like have no study material so i will be able to at least start looking at this now so we have nine pages of practice problems so i'm gonna go ahead and start reviewing all of this tomorrow and i'm going to print it so I just pulled up the ebook for my genetics class and I'm gonna go ahead and start going through the study guide for that and just get a little bit of it done tonight because I just did the chapter, wait, not chapter seven. This is from my review. I'm on like chapter nine, so I just need to start going through that because I don't wanna wait until last minute like I did with the first exam. Here we go. Okay, so. some lemon halo top ice cream this is my favorite flavor of halo top it's um lemon cake it's so good and i just want to show you our dog because this is literally trooper <laughs> this is his bed and we're watching evil genius we started this a while back and um we're still working on it <laughs> Good morning guys, it's the next day. Chad and I just had a pretty relaxing night last night and we watched our show on Netflix and then we moved to the bedroom and we passed out. Um, and then we woke up this morning and we ran some errands and we still have not worked out yet. In fact, I think we're gonna play tennis today. We have tennis rackets and tennis balls and there is a like uh, park across the street from our house with like huge tennis courts and like a few years ago when we first moved into our house, we would play tennis all the time over there, but we haven't played in so long, but still be like social distancing or whatever, not like going to the gym and being surrounded by people and spreading anything. I mean, we'll be like literally outside. I'm sure no one will be over there. It's never usually very busy and we can get a good workout in and just kind of like switch it up because yesterday we did our in-home workout. So we'll probably do that this evening. I'm just going to like prioritize a bunch of tasks and just knock it all out right now. So. Here's how I'm gonna do it. I have some post-it notes and I'm just going to write down the things I need to do and I'm using my calendar, um, my Google Calendar and then my calendar like on Canvas so that I can figure out what to do tonight and tomorrow morning and that's everything I need to work on. So I have to do a quiz, a reading assignment, a, another pre-class uh, quiz and then a stoichiometry assignment and a, oh, this is my um, pre-lab quiz, and I have to do the pre-lab notebook, and then this isn't due until tomorrow night, but all three of these are due between 8 a.m. and 7.30 a.m., which basically makes them today's to-do list, because I don't want to wait until the very last second and try to do it in the morning. So I have like five different assignments that I need to get done. Um, and then I also wanna show you guys my study plan. So here is my exam for study plan and I got the practice questions last night. I showed you guys those. And so I'm gonna start working my way through my study plan. I haven't gotten through a lot of this obviously with the whole coronavirus thing and the changes in my school schedule. I'm a little bit behind, so I'm gonna watch some of these videos as well today and check out um, her stoichiometry notes, and I'll show those to you guys later because those notes 
are super helpful. And if you guys aren't aware, the study plan will be in the description of my video and it's completely free to you guys if you wanna check it out. I've got instrumental study beats pulled up and my to-do list here at the bottom. So these are all the tasks that I need to get done and I have my coffee. I grabbed a fig bar in case I need a snack and I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up the forest app on my phone. So a lot of people always ask what this app is called. So sometimes I forget to say it, I guess, but it's just a little timer where you can't touch your phone for like these intervals of time. Um, and you can like plant different trees and stuff. So I'm going to do 25 minutes and that should get me through probably like two tasks because these aren't going to take me super long. And then this one's going to take me longer. So let's get started. Earlier I told you guys I was going to show you guys my stoichiometry notes by Melissa Maribel. You guys should totally check these out if you're in Gen Chem 1 because stoichiometry is kind of all throughout the semester and these concepts, they just don't go away. And this helps you so much. It shows you exactly how to set up the problems and the notes go through with examples, walks you exactly through it, and these examples are just like the ones that you'll see in class. So I love these notes. If you guys want to check it out, I'll have the link in the description. It is a little bit later and I'm in the car right now with Chad. We're in his truck, so if you can't hear me, it's just kind of loud in here. Um, we're actually heading to go pick up a prescription and we weren't gonna leave the house today, but since we're going out anyway, we're actually gonna go to Target again and see if we can pick up another set of Joy-Cons because right now we only have the one set. Animal Crossing comes out on Friday and if you guys have been following me for some time, then you've probably heard me mention that it's like my favorite game in the world. Um, and Chad actually had it pre-ordered for me as a birthday gift and I am so excited because it comes out Friday, which is like just right on time for quarantining myself <laughs> to play this game, which is what I would be doing anyway, so it's perfect. Um, I have prescription sunglasses on right now, so I know they look like kind of funny, but I feel like they don't look like regular sunglasses. They're like really dark because they're prescription. Um, Anyway, so yeah, we're gonna get another set of Joy-Cons and then that way um, we'll have an extra set for when we play like multiplayer games. Or I wanna play Super Mario Brothers. We haven't played that in a while. The chat gets so frustrated with Super Mario Brothers. I'm like way better at him than that game, right? Yeah, I don't know how it. <laughs> He's literally better than me at, at every other video game that there ever was. But when it comes Except to Super, Super Mario, Mario Brothers, not Mario Kart. He's probably better than me at Mario Kart, but Super Mario Brothers, I kill him. He dies all the time. And we're on the same team, so like it hurts both of us when he dies. We're at Target. It's not nearly as crazy in here as it was yesterday. Um, but I just found these Joy-Con controllers. I decided to get the pink and green ones. I'm really hoping that these end up working because I told you guys the other one doesn't work really well. So, getting this. We're going back to the Easter section because I need some candy. It's that time of the month for me. Your girl needs some chocolate. We're back home now and I just connected the Joy-Cons and I got the hot pink and neon green and it looks so good. I'm so, so, so excited for Friday when Animal Crossing comes out. Chad and I are gonna test these out tonight because I also have the red and blue ones and we just have like these little things for it but now we have two separate sets so we can both have one. A little while later, I have really sucked at vlogging today. To be honest, I've been laying around a lot. I've had like horrible, horrible cramps. Um, I still have some homework assignments that I need to get done tonight. But anyway, we're going to pick up my car now from the shop um, that we dropped off this morning. They didn't find anything with it. Um, I had like an issue over the weekend. It was really minor, but not worried about it. So we're going to pick up my car. And then I also wanted to give you guys the update that I got an email from my school that they officially said that we're doing online like remote classes for the rest of spring semester. So that was news that I really did not want to hear because even though like, you know, for a little bit of time, it's not bad being online. You know, I don't really want to be online for the rest of the semester. Um, I feel like it's gonna be really difficult with lab, but we're gonna make it work, I guess, so. Chad and I just 
got to the tennis courts and I'm so excited. We have not played tennis in so long. And we used to play tennis all the time last year. And this is just the perfect outdoor activity. There's no one on these courts right here. So let's do this. <laughs> tennis in a really long time but it was so good to get back to it it was fun 30 minutes 30 minutes time. oh i didn't stop my watch and we like recorded it on our apple watches you stop yours it was a good workout so we are back home now we just finished eating some leftovers for dinner and i can't believe it's almost eight like it doesn't feel that late to me but i know it's just because of the time change um i have a couple more things that i need to work on for homework but i got so much done today in that short period of time i was just like really focused and i got a lot done um, but I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready to wind down. I am gonna be doing still college days in my life, but obviously they're gonna be like a quarantine edition because I'm not gonna be leaving my house, especially for the next two days. So I'll probably vlog tomorrow as well because I have like an online lab and I don't really know how that's gonna go. And then I have my 8.30 a.m. chem class. So yeah, it'll be interesting, but I will take you guys along with me. So thank you so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.